Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a song by Paul Weller. Paul Weller is a musician I always liked. I loved him in the jam. I liked the style console. I love Paul Weller's solo. For those of you who don't know who Paul Weller is, it's time you do. I believe he was referenced in a song by Tears for Fears where they say, kick out the style, bring back the jam, was a reference to Paul Weller bringing back his band The Jam and getting rid of the style console. Either way, when that song came out, he was solo by then. Today's song is Above the Clouds. It has a great Motown feel. I'm going to show you the best that I can. I like the record version, although his live version is nice. I'm going to show you a bunch of the embellishments that go on in it as well and how I'm going to voice it when I play it. You can figure out after I show you how to play it, how Paul plays it on his acoustic solo because he simplifies it a little bit. And I'm not even sure what he's playing for the B11 chord. On the record, it's definitely a B11. He's playing uh, an open string kind of version of it. I don't really like that chord that he's playing live, but on the record and when he full bands it live, it's a B11. The song is in standard tuning. We're not going to use a capo. I'm going to show you a bunch of the chords you're going to need to know for this song, and then we're going to just kind of go through it. The main chord in the song is an E major 7, and we're going to use this voicing. And so this is almost like if you were to play a C major 7 here, but using your last two fingers, sliding it up to the E, and then barring the 4th fret. So we have, and we play from the low E, so. Another chord in the song is an A major 7, which is open A string, and then A, C sharp, E, G sharp. Another chord in the song will be an F sharp minor 7, a G sharp minor 7, a B11, which is really an A triad, A, C sharp, E over B. There will be a C sharp minor 7. There's going to be an F sharp minor 9, which is really an F sharp minor 7, but I'm adding my pinky on the G sharp on the top here. There will also be an F sharp minor 7 up here that I play. And that's basically all the chords to the song. The intro to the song that starts the song and is used quite a bit in the song is this lick. And we're just sliding a F sharp B, like kind of a B5 chord, to a C sharp and then to the B in the bass. So it's... And then the verse comes in. Autumn blew its leaves on me. Threatening winter as I walked. What happens before the third line of the verse, instead of going to the A major 7, he plays E major 7s in all the inversions. So we have this E major 7 with the D sharp on top. E major 7 with the B on top, and back to the first chord, the E major 7 with the G sharp on top. So one more time, starting from the verse. Autumn blue, it sleeps on me, written in winter as I walked. Summer always goes so quick, barely stopping like my thoughts. So change so fast. Have to wonder, will I last? Okay, so what we see there is we come out of the verse with this E major 7, E major 7, F sharp minor 7, which dip and spin and change so fast the G sharp minor 7 back to the F sharp minor 7 and this second time he plays back to this and then back to this Have to wonder, B11 will I last? now every time it comes out of this you hear this kind of harmonic -y sounding guitar and it's up here it's if you wanted to know what those notes were C sharp B 
A, G sharp, C sharp, B. So now, in this little interlude before verse 2, he's playing... Will I live? And that's a... Instead of going to the A, he slides a F sharp to G sharp, to the C sharp, and then the opening riff. Through the windows of a train I caught reflections of a paper cup Small in a pale blue sky Never knowing which way's up Above the clouds To be found Have to wonder Will I be around The bridge C sharp minor 7 my anger shouts F sharp minor 9 To my own self doubts C sharp minor 7 So what sadness creeps F sharp minor 9 And to my dreams C sharp minor 7 When you're scared of living F sharp minor 7 But afraid to die A major 7 I get scared of giving B11 And I've never found the faith Okay, and that takes us to that section. So now there's like a West Montgomery type of octave thing going on. We play. So one more time, that's. The second one is this. Here it is to the backing. Must be me that's rushing by. Time just lingers on the wind. Whistling through my open fears. Then again with the West fills, the West Montgomery style fills. I call it West because it's the he, West was big on that with his thumb. Over. But this I'm using a pick. Okay, after it comes out of that, we come out to the ending. So the outro is just running high, running high. I catch the sail at evening time. The only other thing I'm going to say that I like, if you're playing it with another person, when it plays these chords, the keyboard is playing this, which I like, which you would play it if you're going to have to count this because it, it's actually on a 16th push. So it's, you're going to count this like 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E and a 4E e and a 1. A two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. So it's that A major seven. We're playing G sharp C sharp E to D sharp G sharp B. And let me just show you.
That is how you play Above the Clouds by Paul Weller. Great song. Great artist. Look him up. Have fun with it. I hope I turned you on to a new song if you don't know what this song is. Otherwise, I dig it. You dig it. We dig it. Very good. <laughs> 